it wasn't long ago, right, that we that they came out and said, oh, well, the fact checkers are actually opinion. What was that? A month ago? Uh, that was around Thanksgiving. That was a, little a couple bit weeks later? ago. I feel like yeah, that was weeks not ago. long ago. So so they've already admitted in the same sense that they admitted that uh, they fortified the election after people finally start to catch on. And I shouldn't even say finally. A lot of us knew this for a long time. But when it gets a little the, the heat gets a little bit too, you know, hot. They finally admit it. And I want to talk about something really quick about what, what James said when you mentioned the word far right. We've all even even for common sense guys like us, we've even been conditioned to the point where the word the term far right is like a bad thing when it's really not. I mean, look at Bryson, right? Bryson is, is I think maybe it might be like almost as far right as you can get. But we've been trained everybody as a whole almost to believe that 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 term is just really bad and they've done it with other things i mean you guys know about the <clears> euphemisms <throat> even um you know one of the most notorious ones that's been around for decades pro choice right i mean they make it sound like it's really good and now it's voting rights so obviously the truth is up for grabs and if the guys at, at twitter and this is the last thing i'll say about this is it's very similar to how we saw when they got rid of andrew cuomo and I couldn't stand Andrew Cuomo. I, I credited him with actually ruining my life at a point. But we knew that when he got when he was gone, they were only going to find somebody who was worse. And that's exactly what it what it feels like at Twitter. Now I'm not big on Twitter. I don't even know really how it works. But everybody hated <laughs> Jack Dorsey. Everybody hated Jack Dorsey. But then when he was gone, you realize that he actually wasn't that bad. And it's, it's very similar to how we see Cuomo and Hochul and even de Blasio and Eric Adams. I mean, he's now I'll, we'll, we'll get to that later, but he's jumping out the window already on what day two. So we've got a mess.